Hey, what is going on, Leos? Butch Tarot here. I am going to do your one week read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. Uh, I'm going to be using the Everyday Witch Tarot. And with all that being said, let's get it. Universe. What is going on for Leo's? What message do we have for Leo's? So the first thing that I see is I feel like this is someone that you already know, this energy coming towards you. Now, for some of you, this is someone that you are friends with, that you want something more from, that you feel there's definitely a connection with this person, but I feel like it's almost like they're... It's almost like they're taking their sweet-ass time. And for others, it's someone that you are already involved with, but you want something more from. But again, still taking their sweet ass time. You know, with, with this person, I feel like, I feel like you want to move forward. You know, I feel like there's definitely something going on between the two of you. Uh, there's a lot of, a lot of really strong chemistry, but I mean, it, it's much more than that. You know, I, I feel like with this person, you feel a connection, a deep connection. You know, we had that lover's card. So I feel like with this person, you know there's something more you're destined for with this person. You know what I mean? It, it's sometimes we meet people in life and we just, we know. Without a shadow of a doubt, we know there's something going on here. But with this person, I feel like it can get very frustrating because I feel like they, it seems like they almost hide how they feel. Even though you know it's there, even though you can feel it, when you're around them, you know, I, I feel like it gets very frustrating, you know, very frustrating because of the fact that, you know, you know, this is something that, you know, you're not just imagining it. There's something going on between the two of you that, that can't be explained, you know, and, it, and like I said, it is more than a friendship. It is more than. Uh, just a physical connection as well. I just feel like with this person, it's like they're having a hard time seeing what's right in front of them. You know, like I said, I mean, I feel like you want to move forward with this person. I feel like you you, you don't want to walk away. You know, you I feel like you've put in a lot of work to get to where you're at. You know, but you want to move forward with this person. You know, you want to build that foundation. I mean, you know what you want. It's a matter of knowing what they want. But like I said, I feel like this is a connection that you don't want to walk away from or, or feel like you can't walk away from. So that just adds to the idea that this is something definitely more than what, what, it, what it's been so far. Now, when it comes to this person, I mean, the potential you see with this person is something that we don't really want to let go of. And that's another reason why not like why you don't want to let go of this, because you see the potential you have together. You know, you see how strong you can be together. You know, how how happy they can make you. I mean, I feel like they make you happy, but I feel like you know there's a there's a, a 
that next level of happiness that you can have with this person. You know, like I said, I feel like you show up for this person. I feel like you put in the work and all you want is that back. You know, this can't be just what it is. It has to be something more. And because they're not... Because of the way they're acting and, and because they're not acknowledging this in the way that you think they should, uh, it gets very frustrating. Like I said, with that Nine of Swords in reverse, it's that late night setting, or that Nine of Swords, it's a late night that anxiety. You know, why are they fighting this? What's holding them back? Now, with this person... I feel like things are about to change in a way that you, you are hoping for. Um, I mean, first of all, we have the Ten of Swords and we have the World card. The World card is a, a representation of things coming to an end, old cycles, as well as the Ten of Swords. Um, you know, things that were holding them back is no longer holding them back. You know, the World card being the, the last of the Major Arcana. Uh, it's the end of that that old journey, you know, and, and this person is preparing for a new journey. And that new journey is with you. You know, there's a lot of big changes going on for this person. But one thing has not changed is I feel like this person, like I said, they feel a connection like you do, like you thought they did. You know, this person has known what they wanted. I just feel like they didn't weren't exactly sure how to get it because I feel like they had a lot on their plate. There was a lot going on. And I feel like this person knows that you deserve more than that. So there was this internal struggle. So don't feel like this person wasn't sweating this. You know, this has been a hard decision for this person. They saw what was right in front of them. But I feel like with what was on their plate, you know, they didn't feel like they could give you what you deserved at the time. Um... But like I said, that has all changed. You know, I feel like this person is going to step up. This person is going to put in the work. You know, with that Ten of Wands, they're stepping up in a big way here. And first and foremost, I feel like they are going to communicate to you how they've been feeling. And I feel like it's just going to it's just gonna reiterate how you already knew. You already knew they wanted you. You already knew they wanted more from this. Now it's just a matter of them actually telling you. I feel like this is really going to take a huge step forward very quickly. Like I said, that, that forward movement that you want, I, I do feel like you are going to get it. I'm just knocking cards over. You have the sun card. You know, I see a lot of happiness for the two of you. You know, finally this person opening up, allowing you inside those walls. And what you'll find inside those walls is, is a place for you. You know, I feel like this person doesn't make, you know, it, it's like they don't make really quick decisions. You know, I feel like they, they thought this through, you know, and they didn't want to give come to you with this half-ass offer. That's very clear what I'm seeing here. I mean, they didn't want to come to you with this half-ass offer. They didn't want to come to you with some bullshit. They wanted to make sure that everything was right. All their ducks were in a row. I mean, I feel like they wanted to come to you earlier with that five of wands, that internal struggle. I mean, we have, like I said, I mean, the love you have for them is going to come back to you, you know, tenfold. You know, that nurturing energy. Um, you know, they're ready to nurture this. They're ready to take a, you know, I, I see this taking a very big, you know, turn. And it's a serious turn. I feel like this person is going to make you an offer. A serious offer. You know, with that Knight of... You know, the Knight of Cups. I feel like this person is come, coming up in a big way. And I feel like they're really going to catch you by surprise. Because, I mean, I feel like it's almost like you, you start to feel like... Second guessing yourself. Thinking maybe it wasn't as much as you were. So, I mean, I feel like this person kind of catches you off guard a bit. It's going to seem very sudden. You know, with that Knight of Wands that... Very impulsive energy. But trust me, this person has been thinking about this for a while. I mean, they've been nurturing this. You know, this person has thought this through. They wouldn't come to you with some half-ass offer. That's why they hadn't come to you before. You know, this person wants to reach out and grab you and hold on. I mean, they think about you and only you.
So the reason why you're feeling that energy is because they've been putting that energy off. You know, that, that energy is out there, whether they like it or not. When they're around you, they can't hold back. Now they're finally letting you know how they've been feeling about you. And I feel like, like I said, I see this taking a big step. You know, I see a lot of good fortune. Uh, again, with the sun card, a lot of happiness. You know, so I, and, and like I said, I mean, we have the Ten of Cups as well. So I do feel like it's going to be a serious offer. You know, there is sometimes I feel like you may have felt like this person was almost pushing you away, but I, it's not that. It's that internal struggle within this person. They wanted to tell you how they felt before now. They just weren't ready to tell you. They respect you too much to give you some half-ass offer. You know, so what you felt with this person was all real. It was real for both of you. And now it's going to be out in the open and we can finally move forward with this you know I feel like this person is finally ready to step up and, and, and like I said I mean I feel like they're going to take that leap of faith you know like this is what I love about this read so we have the world card which is the end of the major arcana which is the end of a cycle you know almost saying that, that that's the end of their solo cycle and now they're ready to take that leap of faith in the beginning of a new journey with the fool card um, stepping in this new journey with you. You know, this wasn't just physical. This wasn't just your imagination. Everything you felt, they were feeling as well. You know, like I said, I, I, I do feel like they are going to make you an offer, and I feel like it's going to be a serious one. You know, we're going to take a serious step forward here. You know, no more holding back. I mean, we... We have the strength card to end this all off. You know, I feel like you're going to find what you've been looking for here. What you've been waiting for is right here, right now. You know, sometimes we feel a certain way with someone. We feel connected in a way that doesn't have any explanation. We can't explain it. We know it's more than just a crush or um, just a physical chemistry. I mean, we know that it's more. And sometimes we just got to trust ourselves. And sometimes it's not going to unfold the way you may want it to in, in a time frame that you may want. But things that are meant to be will be. And that's what I see with this. You know, with this person, we have Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. A lot of fire. We could be doing another fire sign. Um... But we also have, we also have some Gemini and some Aquarius. Some Pisces and Cancer as well. You know, energy speaks louder than any word can ever be. And what I mean by that is sometimes we feel something with someone and just because they're not acknowledging it or, or acting the way we think they would act. It doesn't mean they don't feel it. You know, I feel this connection you have with this person. They're feeling it just as much as you are. They're just reacting in a different way. But like I said, I feel like they do have a lot of respect for you. And it's almost like they didn't want to come to you with some half-ass offer because they knew you deserved more. You know, you put a lot of work in and now it's time to reap the benefits. You know, and it doesn't always, sometimes it doesn't always work the first go around. You know, like I said... For some of you, this is a friendship that needs to be more. For others, it's someone you're already with that you want to take that next step with and you're sick of waiting around. You know, and, and there's going to be some nights where and I feel like that's going to, you know, be overwhelming because it's sometimes we get in our head when we're not getting what we want from someone that we feel like they want as well. Sometimes we can be a little bit hard on ourselves and start to think, Maybe I gave this person too much opportunity or maybe I'm seeing this in the wrong way. This is going to open that up for you. You know, this is per this is going to give you that confirmation that you've been waiting for and that you needed. You know, the person that you want wants you. That's clear. Um, this is not just you. You know, it's... 
one of those things. I mean, I've been in the situation where I where I was interested in someone, and I, you know, I I took my shot over and over again. I kept getting shot down, and I just assumed, hey, they're not into it. I'm reading the situation wrong, you know. In one particular incident, I walked away. Funny enough, when they stopped getting my attention, that's when they came looking for it. <laughs> now, everybody act, reacts to things differently. That's something we always got to re remind ourselves of. You know, but I feel like this person seeks you out. You know, and I feel like that's part of the reason why you were reading into this what you were reading. It's the way they were acting with you. It's the way they were acting around you. You know, this can't just be nothing. Generally, when it feels like it's something, it's something. But like I said, some people react to things differently. And it just, it's a matter of being patient sometimes. And I know that's hard as hell for some people, but... Patience pays off in a lot of, in most cases. <laughs> you know, it's uh, kind of reminds me of my, one of my really, uh, I have a really big family. My grandmother had 18 kids, which that's crazy. But uh, one of my cousins, she was with this guy for 12 years and they never got married. Uh, they had three kids. You know, they were getting to the point where, like, okay, she was getting to the point where, like, I just want to be married. I want to, I want to have that. You know, I dreamed about being married. I dreamed about the wedding, and it's something that I really want. Why isn't he committing to that? Why is? And from his perspective, he felt like he was committed because they were together for twelve years. They lived together. They had kids together. Everything was together. But it got to the point where she just was getting really tired of it. And I remember there was even a point where they went to they went to counseling because she was just like, I, it's it's something that I've always wanted and I've always told him that I wanted it. So why isn't he giving it to me? And uh, I mean, they end up getting married. But the the point of the story is is that sometimes communication gets twisted. You know, I feel like in their case, I feel like he just always thought that he was giving her what she wanted. And she wanted something more. Now, it's not for everybody. But I figure if you're going to have that many kids, if you're going to have kids together and live together, it's already the commitment. So if they want that ring, give it to them. <laughs> happy wife is a happy life, they say. But that's the thing, she kept thinking there was an issue, when there really wasn't. But he knew what she wanted, him not giving it to her was, wasn't giving, it wasn't putting off the right message. You know, it's, uh, she figured she gave him everything he wanted, now she, it's her turn. Like I said, some people look at commitment differently. Anyway, I've lost a little bit of relevance there, but that's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.